How impudent. It seems that those tomes you've gleaned through have taught you nothing about etiquette. Your actions are testing my patience. It seems you do not know what true horror is. <laughs> do you know what happens when fools disrespect the Foreseer? Winter punishes every wrongdoing in due time. But who exactly is in a bad situation? <sighs> you have a wild curiosity and a brazen tongue. A punishment? Fury? Those sorts of emotions I no longer have any use for. I've played enough of your little games. You forget yourself, testing the limits of my benevolence. <sighs> An honest death is not a suitable punishment for every pretender. Tell me, do you know the fate of thieves who sought the Creatio Protocor? You may try it yourself, then inform me of your findings. A human can survive for seven days without food. Given your stubborn character, you should live for an extra two days. Are those tears of your remorse? Indeed, they are delusional. To disguise yourself as the King's envoy and sneak into the Tower of Thorns, you certainly have less than three years.
Do you wish for your mouth to be sealed once more? Your mouth is only capable of spouting nonsense. If you desire it, then I shall indulge you. Come, then. Will you be able to care for it? Answer me. If this jasmine blooms, you may leave the tower with your livelihood intact. It appears your confidence is lacking. After getting lost in the snow, they'll have no choice but to turn back. Their survival is but a guarantee. Fate cannot be changed. Instead of acknowledging this truth, humans still fight against it, especially when their future is not what they hoped it would be. Silence. Gardeners do not require mouths to work.
Arctic yawns. They pass the tower every year when they migrate. Alas, that was eons ago. Your hand. Don't be afraid. Humans are the least of their concern. So that is the conclusion you arrived at while resting in ice. Astra does not write his own story. The imagination of mortals is what remains in the sands of time. You are not here to study my behavior. Your wild curiosity almost led to your demise. What do you want? You never pass the throne room after watering the flower. I have heard of it. I don't do such things. For him to hear you, I suggest using a sturdier vessel. That would be determined by your fervent hope. I wasn't lying. However, it just so happens a few lights are needed for tonight. Only he knows. There is nothing for me to wish from Astra.
he is the person you seek. Are you claiming the Frost coerced you? Expressing your regret does not require theatrics. Likewise, tis dangerous to push one's duty onto others. Was not the work of magic, but a phantasm. Carrying her to the higher shelves without a reason was your doing. Am I wrong? We are like-minded in our distaste for lies. Your forgiveness is boundless, for better or worse. The individual subconscious is also a form of energy. It can sense even the smallest of changes. You and the Phantasm should decide. I am but a witness. Do what you must. What brings you here? No one could have predicted Jazz to be unwavering in its loyalty to you. However, I expected as much. 
It knows only of us and thus considers you a friend. Should I punish you in its stead? Worry not. Punishment awaits. Is a horrible death the only consequence you can think of? I have no interest in taking the life of another. You should decide that for yourself. Have we met before? Who are you? Through what means did you enter this place? You stand in an illusion crafted by words and words alone. A lowly wraith. They are more than mere flowers. My memories. Or perhaps it would be better to say they are the jasmines in my memories. Each one is my life of another time. All I can recall is my end with that moment. Again and again and again, like a cycle. I do not remember what happens after. Therefore, these buds can never blossom. Tis why I bring each one here. He cannot see his own. Such is Astra's will. You are not forbidden from entering the library but you cannot venture there as you please. What text did you find to make you ask such a thing? Your insolence reveals itself. Allow me to remind you of your place. Stand back. Stay away from me.
The Foreseer cannot set foot outside the Tower of Thorns. A few swipes is all it needs to take your life. He is warning us. I have no recollections of such. You've begged enough for forgiveness. Destiny's guiding hand may have brought you here, but it is time to abandon your curiosity. There will be a solar eclipse tomorrow. I must wait at the tower's pinnacle for the prophecy. Unless I tell you, you are prohibited from entering. 